This is the workforce of the future. More than a thousand Silicon Valley tech workers are preparing for life after layoffs. The fourth industrial revolution is ushered by advancements in robotics. Many task-based jobs which exist today are likely to disappear during this revolution. And new jobs that emerge in the future workplace will require the use of human-centered characteristics. So keep an agile mindset. We always emphasize on having the breadth and the depth uh, in a work, working culture. So the ability to learn, unlearn and relearn, I think that's critical. You really need to possess that mindset that whatever you've learned today may not be um, adaptable tomorrow. They need to have this ability to do critical thinking and problem solving skills. A sense of curiosity, resourcefulness, empathy, when the world is dominated by machines, artificial intelligence, robotics, the part of human intelligence that is harder to replace is empathy. The greatest growth has been in jobs requiring high social skills, such as communication, networking, negotiation, the ability to work productively in diverse teams, a high degree of imagination and creative analysis and also to be able to bounce back upon experiencing setbacks in life. So to be future ready, it is not enough if you focus just on acquiring knowledge and skills to do your job. To develop important life skills and emotional well-being, all first-year undergraduate students will take two exciting modules, Life Skills for Success and Well-being and Team Dynamics and Relationship Management. I'm Petrina Egger, one of the Life Skills Facilitators for the Personal Component and also the Mindfulness Expert for the team. In the Personal Component, students explore self-awareness and self-management. They learn more about their values and their personality type. In preparing them for the future, they also look into their core purpose and their career vision. They also apply mindfulness to help them manage and cope with stress, as well as exploring empathetic communication. At the beginning of all Life Skills modules, students are given an opportunity to meet each other and their facilitators to create a more open, friendly atmosphere. We have a classroom agreements such as to be open, respect each other, and be present, which helps students feel like there is a safe space where they can share. I'm Emma Nami. I'm one of the Life Skills Facilitator for the Social Component of Life Skills module. I cover the Social Competency Component, which encompasses Relationship Management and Social Awareness. Some of the critical topics that we cover are Leadership, Team Dynamics by Bruce Tuckman, Conflict Resolution by Thomas Kilman, Personal Branding, Networking and Decision Making by Edward D. Bono. The highlight for me was that Life Skills was able to make me learn more about myself and the others. I learned that throughout the semester I was able to open up even more. Um, my classmates and I, we are very close friends, even though we are like from different courses. Oh, so my highlight was learning about how to manage stress through mindfulness and I still practice it from time to time till today. I have learned a lot in Life Skills. For example, I learned how to acknowledge my emotions, how to properly work in a team and I also learned about other theories as well like the Johari window, the six thinking hats, how to manage conflicts, and more. Yes, I like how my facilitators showed us the real life examples so we could get a glimpse of the future and what it might look like, what to expect. You know what I loved the most was that we were able to indulge ourselves in experiential activities. So it gave us like first-hand experience as to what we were learning in life skills. Even our main assignment was a project. Oh yeah, the MOVE project. It was a lot of fun. Because I couldn't imagine that one single action of mine can actually impact so many lives. And I could also apply everything that I've learned in life skills into doing that project. 
Yeah, I thought my teammates were crazy for making me a team leader, but it all ended up pretty well and giving back to the Taylor's community feels so good. I think along the way, because we could open up, we learned how to communicate respectfully with one another, also while getting the job done, you know. Yeah, it's like we learned tools and tips that we can put in a toolbox and use whenever we need to. I kind of felt like we, I came out of my shell during that semester. It was a good way to start my uni life. These modules will take you through a transformational journey of self-discovery and help you catch important life skills that will equip you to thrive in an uncertain yet promising future.